But, you know, anytime we're dealing with uh, snow and ice, you know, we're, number one, putting salt on the street, which is corrosive to the concrete and to the asphalt and does have an effect. Uh, it can have a short-term as well as a long-term effect. And then also, you know, when we're out plowing streets, you know, the, those, those are large metal objects that are scraping the concrete and they have a tendency to tear up uh, the parts of the street as well and also tear out previous uh, pothole patches that we've put in. So um, not only does it look like after a storm we have potholes from just the winter weather itself, but we also have potholes from the potholes before that we expose, you know, after the plowing. So um, it, it, it's... Um, it's just a process that's part of every storm that we do after we're done dealing with the snow and ice. We, um, it, it's part of our um, uh, practice to go ahead right at the end of that storm to proceed into transitioning into uh, where we go out and, and start trying to address as many of the potholes as we can. And our goal is to try to get to as many of them as quickly as we can. Um, you know, mainly because we're not trying. It's not a permanent fix when we're going out and, pit, uh, and patching these potholes, um, uh, but we do want them to la be long lasting as much as possible, but we also want to get to them quickly so that, you know, uh, people aren't having to damage, you know, tires or, or swerve around them or just have rough rides, you know, up and down the streets as well. So it does help to smooth some of that stuff out. They're not perfect, but uh, they do they do minimize a lot of those kinds of issues with the streets and until we do have time later on to come around, come back around in some of the worst places and start doing more permanent repairs at a later date.